You've tuned into Culture Express on CGTN. Welcome back. What do you get when you combine martial arts with some namaste? Kung Fu Yoga, of course. That's the name of director Stanley Tong's new fantasy adventure movie starring Jackie Chan. Released in India on Friday, the film is the first project to emerge from an India-China co-production treaty signed in 2014. The two countries are looking to team up on film productions to attract viewers in both countries. Here's more on their first result of their co-production. President Xi Jinping's visit to India in 2014 led to China and India signing a three-film agreement. The result is Jackie Chan starrer Kung Fu Yoga. Initially, studio giants from India and Beijing were involved. But in October 2015, Indian media and entertainment company Viacom 18 called off its involvement. Kung Fu Yoga was shot extensively in Dubai, India, and Iceland. We're looking for something new. Oh, karate. Okay, Chinese with karate. Later on, Chinese with uh, hapkido. We're nothing to shoot anymore. Then we change the police story and uh, uh, Rambo in the Browns. Uh, well, I still like to do something special. For the last couple of years, yoga so hot in the, around Asia. Every woman and uh, they go to uh, cold, cold yoga, hot yoga. Then I sit there. Hmm. We should make a kung fu yoga. Complete with Bollywood style, the film also saw Jackie Chan dance. The team also includes Indian actor Sonu Sood. They're hugely popular, uh, you know, countries and uh, people love cinemas in both the markets. So, and I'm, I'm glad that uh, finally we're making films which uh, have both the Indians and uh, Chinese actors and, you know, scripts which are based uh, in India and China. I think it's, it's, it's a very, uh, very bright future, I would say, you know. Uh, big budget films have been uh, uh, in a shot. And um, I hope these films do well so that people uh, uh, should get encouraged and make more films. Kung Fu Yoga is not Chan's first experience with India. He acted with Indian actor Malika Sharavat in the film The Myth. His fan following in the country along with an international appeal made him an obvious choice. India is the world's second largest country after China. And despite having a popular film industry better known as Bollywood, it's only the world's sixth largest film market. Exporting its films to other markets and doing co-production would be an advantage to Indian filmmakers. China is also looking at increasing its appeal beyond its border. A 65 million US dollar China-India co-production Kung Fu Yoga is hoping to capture both the Chinese and the Indian market. And the industry is hoping this is just the start of more such collaborations. Shweta Bajaj, CGTN, New Delhi, India.